the 2016 KIA Rio is now in its fifth year on the market. And this year it's facing twin hurdles. Low U.S. gas prices and steadily improving competition in the subcompact segment. The Rio has never done quite as well as KIA's larger models, but the Korean car maker is trying to keep it fresh with some mild updates this year, including revised front cycling and some interior trim material upgrades. The Rio offers crisp, stylish European design, a cleanly style, feature packed interior, and an agreeable, fuel efficient engine. But the Honda Fit, new last year, offers far more interior room and better packaging. The Cherry Sonic has a smoother ride and is more comfortable, and the Ford Fiesta is simply more fun to drive. The Rio is also now somewhat behind on safety ratings, as the tests get tougher every few model years. Still, we continue to like the Rio design that was launched as both a four-door sedan and a five-door hatchback for the 2012 model year. Both Rios have tidy dimensions and rakish bodies. We applaud the sedan's stylists for avoiding the obtall trunk look of competitors like the Ford PS. Although the five-door definitely has more swagger than the sedan and a new front-end design updates the Rio to the same corporate KIA identity as the larger Soul and Optima. Inside, the materials convey a premium feel despite some throwback details like toggle switches for the climate control system. A large touchscreen display is included on high-end models, and for 2016, KI8 has added satin finished bezels around the air vents which we like and a new piano black center console around ancillary controls and the audio system. Frankly, we've been tired of piano black trim for a while now. KI8 also added additional noise suppression foam to various structural members to soothe cabin noise. KI8 offers only a single engine in the 2016 Rio. The 138-horsepower 1.6-liter 4. The Rio sedan has a 6-speed manual gearbox as standard, with an optimal 6-speed automatic. While this year the hatchback is offered only with the automatic, the engine drifts smoothly up its power band and is mostly muted while moving the Rio along with just enough gusto when driven aggressively. The Rio handles remarkably well for a small, inexpensive economy car with a basic strut and torsion beam suspension and a short wheelbase, though we'd like a bit more feedback from the steering. The car stays composed no matter how you choose to drive it, 